Hello Pre-K. Today I'm going to do a science project with you called Rain in a Jar. There are going to be three things that we need to do this project. Um, the first thing we're going to have to have is some shaving cream. The second thing we need is a bowl of water. And the last thing that we're going to need is some blue food coloring. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our bowl of water and we're going to add clouds to the top of it. We got to shake your shaving cream real good. So we're going to add our clouds to the bowl and then we're going to do droplets tiny little droplets into this cloud. So then um, last of the droplets, they actually fall as rain. So you can see them falling through the clouds through the rain. Um, and I also wanted to share this with you is that is clouds living and it talks about what is a living thing and it says living things need food animals get energy from food living things need water all animals need water to live living things need air animals breathe the air living things make new things. Animals have babies. And it says living things grow, change, and die. And then we turn to talk about what is a non-living thing. A non-living thing does not need food, water, or oxygen. And it says some facts about clouds. That clouds don't need food or oxygen. It is made up of water droplets. A little cloud can split off to form a big cloud. A cloud can get big before a storm, and a cloud does not die. So, is a cloud a living thing or a non-living thing? Clouds are non-living things. And as you can, we check back on our water droplets, you can see as they're forming through the clouds, they're dropping through the clouds. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoy this. See you soon.